town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Why isn't the drill working? Took the battery out. Broke it? Are you filming it? Yeah. What's up guys? We haven't filmed anything in a while. Last week was our first full week of me and uh, old Roscoe doing the, um, what the hell were we doing? Fall cleanups. <laughs> uh, so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was me and old Roscoe. And then uh, Thursday and Friday we had Billy and his friend Owen that lives across the street from us over here. He came and helped out. And uh, they ripped the pull cord out of my BR600. I went to my dealer and uh, I was dropping it off because I was going about an hour away to look at a Skag 36 walk behind. The guy said needed absolutely nothing. So I was gonna dump it off, be like, here, wrap this, I'll put a new wrap in this thing, I'll pick it up on the way back. He threw one on the counter, he goes, they're only 21 bucks, we don't even wrap them anymore, we just changed out that whole piece. So he threw the, I go, well, give me a tool. He threw the tool up there, we changed it out, and, uh, um, I paid him and down the road I want and then he gave me an extra length of string so I can rewrap the one that they ripped the uh, pull cord out but anyway I went to look at that skag and it was in a C can the guy had in a storage center and he tried pull start it like 15 times and the damn thing just would not start and I was smelling fuel like crazy and uh, I looked down and fuels pouring out of the carburetor no big deal could just be a stuck float uh, but then it was pouring out of the exhaust, so that could be a stuck needle in the carburetor, or it could mean it needs valve seals. And the guy's like, yeah, you know, I, I think maybe it does need valve seals. I'm like, oh, when I talked to you yesterday, you said it needed nothing. So I walked away from it. He wanted 800 bucks. It was uh, like five years old, probably a good machine. I just, nothing I wanted to mess with. So Ryan sent me last night a listing for a Ferris 36 Hydro Cut, and I looked at it, and it was an hour and 40 minutes away. I went out there this morning, and I bought it. And I just put it up for sale. <laughs> I don't like it. I um, It had no sulky or nothing on it. And I'm like, oh, no big deal. It was completely different than the normal walk behinds. Like, you don't squeeze the levers to turn left or right. It Like, you push down on these levers and you slide them forward to go forward. You slide them back to go back and you kind of manhandle it. But I walked it around, ran it, you know, where I went to buy it from. And uh, it seemed really cool. Everything seemed fine. I'm like... You know, it's a little hard to maneuver, but I'm like, once I put a Velky on this thing, it'll be fine. I came home, grabbed one of my old Velkies, put that on it, and uh, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. So, um, here, we'll look at it real quick. I'll show it to you. Come on, Billy. Take him over here. Uh, let's see. You don't want him to see the mess, all our shit laying around everywhere. So, this is it. Um, it's really nice. The thing's like brand new. It's in really good shape. Uh, it has a 13 horse cowie on it. Uh, 36 hydro cut. It has a um, a crank over here on the side for the uh, deck height up and down. We mounted the Velky to it. But these are the handles. See, you know the old style pistol grip where you squeeze them to go left or go left or right, and then there's a forward control lever. No forward control lever. You press these down. There's a safety plunger safety in each one. You press them down, and then you press them forward to go forward, and you slide them backwards to go back. There's no left or right. No nothing. That's how weird it is. Like, super weird. I don't like it. So, um, I thought it'd be all right. But things like brand new. So, um, I just listed it for sale. And that's a shame because I think it'd be really nice to help me get in and out of them gates. Um, so, I wouldn't have to keep push mowing so much. But, whatever. It is what it is. So, um, no addresses. Don't be showing any addresses. Addresses for what? They can't know where we live. Oh, I don't care. Let them come by. We got plenty of ammo. I hear so anyway, down the street. Um, if you guys, I don't know, maybe some of you don't know yet, but I started a podcast. It's called Triggered with Randy Haskell, and I upload to Anchor, and they distribute it out everywhere. I know right now it's on iTunes, it's on Overcast, it's on CastBox, it's on Anchor, it's on Spotify, and I don't know what else is on yet, but they're slowly getting it out to everybody. Um, but anyway, I did one about shoot blockers, and it's kind of funny that I had done that because... Um, I had told everybody in there that, you know, I really love the quick shoot. It's been a great shoot blocker. I had it on the right, and then I had it on this Toro Grandstand. Um, the advanced power shoot, I think, is made out of recycled toilet paper. I absolutely hate it. I don't recommend anybody ever buying one unless you don't have that much money at all and you need something, then go ahead. But, um, and grass flap. I fell in love with the grass flap when we put it on the uh, V-Ride 2. 
But hands down, out of all of them, and I mentioned this in the podcast, my favorite is Power Shoe. Well, I mentioned it in there, and I talked about it on on uh, a ton of videos over the years. I mean, you guys have seen it, and it's been on the Walker B since the day we got it. We we absolutely love it on that machine. So, anyway, I was contacted by Alex, um, who bought out Power Shoe in the end of January, beginning of February, something like that. Super cool guy. We chatted on the phone for like an hour and a half. Um, awesome awesome guy I really like him a lot and I really like uh, his ideas for the company and what he plans on doing um, but what he did is um, I had him send me a shoot blocker for the Toro grandstand I want one forever I hate using the quick shoot on this because anytime I'm on this sucker I'm always like leaning over to hit the quick shoot and it's a pain so he did send us a power shoot it came in today it's right there and just comes down back up all electric just like, and I put the switch right here. I wanted to somehow mount it so it was up here so while my hands were on the controls, I could just flick it, but there's no way I could do it where it'd be in the way. So it's no big deal to just drop my hand down like this and tap it down, flick it back up. So, and it's out of my way. I'm not gonna hit it with my body at all. Um, perfect spot. I actually cannot wait to use this machine Monday just to use that. You guys know how much I love this power shoot. He did also send me uh, a power shoot design rtic cup super excited about that fits right in the cup holder um and he did send me an extra motor okay um i know i watched uh i seen a post on instagram nick from saving green he sent him one too and he put some saving green stickers on it and stuff and i told him i said i, I don't need all that fancy shit i'm just gonna get it dirty anyway when you use it you use it and uh it's gonna get dirty i just i'm with the functionality of it and um I also mentioned that podcast how guys had told me when we first put it on the Walker B that you're going to have problems with the motor, you're going to have problems with the toggle switch, they all take a shit, blah, blah, blah. That motor, you can get them from Power Shoot and they're actually a better quality, but you can get the same idea. It's an old window motor, like an old uh, Cadillac, an old Chevy Caprice, um, and that's all they are. Well, they give you the part number. I don't know if it's on here. Um, but it used, yeah, it's on here. Uh, Napa part number, O'Reilly, AutoZone, and Advance. They give you the part number if you want to go and buy that motor. So, and it was on the first one I got for the Walker B. And I went on eBay and I punched those uh, part numbers in. And I actually found them for like $24 a piece. I ordered two spare ones. And they're still sitting up there in the box. Actually, I can see one right there. They're still sitting up there in the box. Two years that thing's been on the Walker B. I've not had to replace that motor. So... Um, I got all kinds of spares now, but so I, I love that product. And if you look all over the internet, there's like nothing on this product. So I told him, I said, listen, I will make you more videos on this thing. And I will, I'll push your product because my subscribers know that I don't push shit. I don't push crap. If it's junk, it's junk. Um, anything that I promote, you see in my daily videos because, uh, I love it and I use it. So, um, that's been on the Walker B for two years and now this will stay on here um i absolutely love it so anyway it's on there and if you guys are interested in this at all power shoot design um for the power shoot blocker you will love it i am the only one the only one i'm the only one <laughs> no seriously though i'm the only one that has a discount code for this thing so if you want anything off of power shoots website if you're looking for a shoot blocker and you guys want to use this you know me i'm not going to tell you it's good if it's not you'll use this thing and you'll love this damn thing it's just so nice like like i said the switch is right here just flick it down flick it up done that easy just you know it's a waterproof toggle switch and you have the motor down there billy's beat the hell out of that one on the walker b for two years and it hasn't broke yet i've beat the hell out of it, it hasn't broke we've hit it on things i mean they're just durable they hold up but if you type in countryside 10 on your purchase on their website it saves you 10 percent. i get absolutely nothing off it i told him that from the beginning i said you know, there's companies all over and YouTubers all over. He's just getting into this whole uh, social media thing. I told him, I go, there's guys all over that are going to ask you for discounts or ask you for kickbacks or this or that. I don't want your money. I make my own money. I don't want your money. I don't need your money. Um, just give me a code that I can offer to my subscribers so they can save a little bit of money. That's all I ask for. So uh, he said, all right. He goes, give me about a week. And it took him about three days. And he had the code set up for me on his website already. So... If you're interested, Countryside 10, I don't get shit out of it, but it'll help you guys out. So, um, 
tomorrow is Sunday, and I just wanted to catch you guys up on what we've been doing. It was a crazy first week of leaf cleanups. Crazy first week. So that first week of uh, leaf cleanups was absolutely crazy, and we got a lot done. There is a lot more leaves down right now than there is normally down by this time of year every year. So, and I've been already bagging leaves for four weeks, almost five weeks I've been bagging leaves already um, before I started up with Ryan last week. That never happens, ever. So I've stayed, Ryan was blown away. He's like, I can't believe how short your properties are. And I said, I've been cutting them right down. He's like, I can't believe all the leaves out of the trees. And I said, I've been staying on them, man, just keeping up on them. And so we're, we're doing really good. And this week it was in, I think Monday we froze. It was a light layer of snow, like frost on the ground and snow. We woke up Monday, me and Ryan still went out and got some stuff done. And then the rest of the week it was in the 60s all week. It was like 70 today. And uh, I think Monday and Tuesday is in the 60s and then in the 50s for the next week and a half. So we are just in a great percentage of all of our leaves are down already. So we're kicking butt. We're doing good. Billy's got school Monday and Tuesday this week. He's usually off Thursday and Friday. He's off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week because Wednesday's Veterans Day. So uh, we'll get you guys some footage this week. A lot of people have been asking me. I've been really rolling with this podcast thing. I love it. I have so much fun and... I'm a talker. You guys already know the drill, so it's so much easier. Oh, he shut knows. up. He know, right? It's so much easier for me to just uh, make those and uh, just talk about a subject I want to and upload them. So, and it's faster too. But uh, I'll still keep getting you guys footage and we'll get some stuff going this week. But I just wanted to catch you guys up on that. Um, I have uh, new stuff coming for the enclosed trailer. You guys will see that soon. I decided to do something just for the hell of it because I felt like it. And uh, so you guys will see that soon. But so now my search continues for another 36. I will have a 30. I have all winter. But I'll have a 36 before next year because I'm tired of push mowing all these yards and Billy won't push mowing for me. Okay, listen, you never ask me to. You're always like, oh, hey, take the walker, go to the back. Okay, don't even go there. Because <laughs> I know you won't do it. You never ask me to. <sighs> I'd do it, but you never ask. He'd cry about it. That's what he would do. Nah. But anyway, so... It's a uh, Cadillac. What do you mean? Cadillac should be phone. It's going I gave Billy my Note 9, um, Samsung Note 9, and I went and bought the new... I bought the new... Dinosaur. Mo it's not a dinosaur. It's a flip phone. It's a dinosaur. Instead of saying, hey, Google, you like, you're like, hey, T-Rex. <laughs> I bought the it's new Motorola Razor. I loved the Razor when it was first out when Verizon had it. That was my favorite phone back in the day, the flip phone. Okay. So they come out with a new one. It's a foldable glass, and the thing was sweet, operated sweet, but the processor in it was insanely slow. The battery was half the width of a normal smartphone battery. It kept dying on me like halfway through the day. It was just shit. So I went back up there. I'm like, I need to get, you guys need to take this back. And so I went and I got the new, uh, I got the new Note 20G. New Note 20 5G. It has like 10 different cameras. Yeah, and, and yeah the, new, uh, and the new Note 20 5G. So I got that and Billy's got my Note 9G that I had for like barely a year. But anyway, so that's the deal. Enough rambling. This is uh, this is where we're at. The quick shoot. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I told Ryan he could buy it off me if he wants. It's not going back in any of my mowers. Um, I really like it. It's nice, but you know, once you've had the Cadillac like this power shoot, there's no going back. So. Do you think um, Ryan's gonna take a walk behind? Doesn't. No, he's gonna. I'm. He's, no, the quick shoot. The oh. quick shoot. I thought you were talking about the fares. No, no the quick shoe. Either. No, Uncle Ryan, he already like, has a 36. He, he has my Xmark Vanish standard. Yeah, it's standard. I've been trying to buy back off him for two Versus years, but he won't. Either. He has like two lawns he push mows. But he's push like, mow. oh, I got too many lawns that push mow. Too many small gates. There's no way. I got to have it. I got to have that 36. No, he doesn't. I need that thing way more than he does, but he won't sell it back to me because he won't get me. Why does he just have work, take the weed whack and go back there and weed whack the whole thing? I don't know, because every year he says he's not mowing with him anymore, but he does anyway. Anyway, so um, so my my search continues for a 36. I got all winter. I will have one before next year because I just can't uh, I can't keep pushing on these lawns, especially in the heat, the really hot days of summer, and they. Uh, I know some people say just get rid of lawns and some people said to me I don't take any lawn I can't fit a certain size mower and well good for you and that's exactly what most people in my area think too and so they refuse these lawns so I get to charge that's a premium for these lawns because I take them on and I already know that every other company in my area has already told them no because they don't have mowers that small so I get to charge a premium take any price they can and get. I take them I take these lawns so I might as well make it easier on myself and 
I just, uh, I have I have a good amount of them, but I don't have enough that would justify me going and buying a brand new 36. It's just, you know, I want to use one that, that, that I know I can make reliable and use it for the limited use I need it. But anyway, we'll get you guys footage this week. Uh, maybe some Monday and Tuesday with me and our Roscoe and uh, the rest of the week with uh, all of us. Last week was pretty nice. Roscoe on the Tiger Cat 2 with the clamshell. Uh, you guys know I sold him that mower. Billy was on the V-Ride 2 and I was on the Walker MT. All three machines bagging. We were we were going like fools, man. We were bagging some leaves. Hands yeah, down, with, without a doubt. But uh, yeah, the V-Ride will be even better now that I took them blades off there. Mm -hmm. uh, Roscoe wanted us to run G6s on there like he runs on the Tiger Cat. And he's right, it definitely mulch them up small and you get more in the bagger, but you got to go over everything like twice. It just doesn't suck them up. So I wanted high lifts back on the V-Ride because with um, full tail high lifts on the V-Ride, yeah, you dump the bagger more than if you have mulching blades on there, but you go over it once and it sucks that yard clean. Like it literally pulls up every tiny little piece. You leave nothing behind. So... I was um, clogging a lot with that. Yeah, thing. so we ran it last week, and it was just, it it, it doesn't do well at all. I even, I think Ryan, the Tiger Kid, so Ryan would do better if he would just throw a set of high lifts on there, but, you know, he won't do it. He likes his gator blades on there, and whatever. It's his own deal. Um, but we definitely prefer the high lifts. It does a much better job in one pass. Like I said, he might dump one more time or maybe a half a time more overall on a property than if you ran the, the mulching blades but you go over everything once once that's it and it's clean so and you don't get as much blowout from the sides of the deck either because you have that suction from the high lifts mm -hmm. so definitely makes a difference all right what do you think are we done is that it we cover everything pretty much all caught up with where we are for the week um i still i decided not to sell the dually roscoe and swears to god it's a timing chain issue so we got a new timing chain a double roller timing chain new gasket set new harmonic balancer everything so once we get through leaf cleanups uh roscoe and i are going to tear the front half of that engine apart and we're going to put a timing chain in it hopefully fix it if it doesn't um i don't know it might accidentally get caught in the fire so <laughs> We'll see what happens, but he swears. You can't say that though, because if someone goes back and watches this. I know. What if somebody actually lights that thing on fire and they're like, oh, you said it in a video? I'd be mm -hmm. fucking screwed. All right, but anyway, so that's the deal. Um, no, I'll end up selling it if it doesn't work, but Ryan swears to God it'll fix it, so I don't know. I'm so freaking thirsty today. It can't be because I'm drinking pop that dehydrates you. But, uh, all right. So that's that, and uh, we will see you guys next week. Oh my God, we've been talking for almost 20 minutes. I'm going to have to turn this into a podcast. What's it going to be called? The Podcast About Nothing? <laughs> just the no, I just I wanted to cover that power shoe, because Alex was super cool to, uh, to send me this cup. He really didn't have to send me this fancy cup. He didn't. Use. He didn't have to send me, oh, I'm going to use it. Don't think for a second you're stealing you this one, too. You can't put that in there. That's, that's for scenes. That's, that's not, oh, I don't that's care about that. No, I'll use, it in, my, I'll use it in my cup, man. I don't want to freaking destroy this thing. This thing's nice. Or Sabrina will steal it from me. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that. It was super cool of him to send me that power chute and to send me that spare motor um, and, uh, and to send me this cup and to give me that code to offer to you guys. That's all I wanted from him. Um, and I will continue to promote this uh, this shoe blocker forever because I love it and Billy loves it on, on the other one and we really really like that grass flap on that V-Ride too but <laughs> still take I don't the, know I'd still take the power shoe, power shoe. so I might uh, and the grass flap is not broke so that we definitely proved that wrong we have like 160 hours in that thing we've only had it for like two months well, I think that three about months that maybe. If you're wearing big boots. Yeah, it's it's hard the way it is with big boots. But if we put a power chute on that V ride and we stuck the toggle up near the controls just like this, ooh baby, <laughs> woo! What the heck? <laughs> That'd be nice. I I really want everything decked out with a power chute. I want everything to have a power chute. So we'll put one on the the Toro. Hey, I'll go out and order one for the V ride. Just use my own code. We'll put one on the. Toro Time Master. Toro Time Master. I'll get one for the V-Ride and I'll just use my own code. And there you go. Save myself 10%. Save yourself 10%. <laughs> so, all right. Um, that'll be it for this one, guys. And we will uh, we'll see you on Monday. I'll get you some footage. Scout's Honor. Mind, body, spirit.
Your body's <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe bobbity button, leave a thumbs up and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. We'll see you in the next one.